beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Virgo Tarot Reading. Virgo love tarot reading, Virgo love reading, and as is very often the case here at the Tarot Closet, Virgo love messages reading channeled, love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. I want to show you the energy, the sun and the knight of wands. Well, 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 <laughs> Virgo, this is Leo energy and it's also source. It's also some type of Renewal, new beginning, the end of a cycle, it's a new day. It's a new chance for what? It looks like somebody's taking this new day pretty seriously, jumping on their Knight of Wands horse, more Leo energy, getting ready to act here, quite literally. A fast energy around matters of the heart, the energy of love, it's quite a passionate energy. They have their armor on, of course, because this is a night after all. But they do look a little bit scared because there's something about to change here. They want to change. You see all those leaves there on that wand. The end of what cycle? No contact, no communication, and or in separation. Six of Swords is wanting to show itself interesting. Mercury and Aquarius energy. Time to, it's a transition, it's been a transitional time and it, this is Mercury energy. It's time to communicate. Let's see what else is going on here. Virgo, 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 Virgo. <laughs> Happy New Year if you're here in real time. I'm channeling for you, Virgo, January 2024. In January 2024, I should say. You could be here, of course, in real time, but you could also be here many months even years later, and that is because this is a timeless reading. Virgo, this is a faded connection. You're here when you're meant to be here. I want to show you the energy that's here. Definitely a new cycle. This is a completion energy. Somebody is coming in here. How recent are they? Or perhaps what's going on with the energy here because it feels recent. So Maybe there's just the energy of them coming up or things haven't been resolved because this is a completion energy. It's bringing a life-changing decision around that. Obstacles out of the way, divine timing, communication, growth. It can be literal travel for some of you where somebody's actually traveling, but it's also just coming together. The Ten of Swords, it's the sun in Gemini we just Got that sun energy coming in. You can see that the clouds are lifting. So the sun is about to come up. What happened in this connection? Because we saw that Knight of Wands taking advantage of this new day, ending this cycle, I feel, of no contact, no communication and or in separation. What happened here in this connection? Because it looks like it was very hurtful, a painful ending. Something went on here that wasn't great, of course. The end of no communication, no contact, I feel, and or in separation because perhaps maybe this is coming together, but not quite coming together, if you know what I mean yet. For some of you, there might be some long distance energy here, but it's definitely a renewal and that sun is definitely coming up. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy around this completion energy of the world card. So what have... Where were you in this connection? You know, what happened? What goals did you not reach together? For some of you, is this just resolution? Because we see that Knight of Wands coming here. They may already have. By the time you're watching this, that's a pretty fast energy. The world card is around Saturn. Obstacles, rules, karma, life lessons. You know, this is also looking toward the future. So definitely a completion energy coming through. What is that going to mean for you? Let's see. It's really early on in the reading, but it's also very telling. All the decks that are coming in are, whoa, linked below. You'll also find all the playlists, of course, Virgo, your Zodiac readings, 
all 12 zodiac signs. You'll also find all signs, love tarot readings, all signs, tarot readings. Those are love readings for the collective. If you are on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings also below and a lot more. So feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Virgo, look at that on quite an emotional horse coming here with something to tell you. The victorious energy that they have moved past some obstacles here, those five of wands in the back here. Five of Wands, Saturn and Leo energy. We saw that in the world card that obstacles have been or are getting removed. Is this around somebody being ready? Timing, somebody's ready, somebody's not. Somebody's available, somebody's not. What's, what is it with the timing? Because the Wheel of Fortune is also here. More Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. And this is a turning point. And this is around Jupiter, the planet of prosperity and expansion bringing in some really hopeful energy, some optimistic energy, things moving again, quite literally the cycles of life, you know, you're up and then you're down, but this is a turning point. And this is also connected so strongly here with them bringing in some kind of news for you. Also around Jupiter is luck, you know, kind of well, good fortune, you could say, but that's also connected to timing, you know? So what's going on with the timing? Is it just that, what have those obstacles been? Or what are they? Is it just around your person? Has there been some games, lack of commitment? Are there other people? Again, they're trotting right past the Saturn energy here. Pretty emotional horse. So are they just getting over how they feel? Or are they just overwhelmed? Because they're wearing a victory wreath, they're carrying a victory wreath. It's the energy of love, it's the wands, it's a really fast energy. And the Wheel of Fortune. Fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can. Your destinies are intertwined. This is a really deep soulmate connection. Also coming through in the world card. So what is in store for this soulmate connection? We have many soulmates in the world, you know, romantic and otherwise, but this is your love reading today for the person you're here for, your specific person, or maybe it's somebody, I don't know, maybe it's somebody just coming to mind. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you, Virgo. Also, don't forget it's a general tarot reading, so always take what resonates for you. Let the rest go, and if you ever feel it's vice versa, I don't really recommend cross-watching. Sometimes that might be something for you, though, in particular your rising sign. Let's see what else is going on here, because it looks like it's kind of a big deal. Life-changing, actually. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else Virgo needs to see today. Aho. The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Pisces Energy, Jupiter and Pisces Energy to be exact. Jupiter, again, the planet of expansion, prosperity, timing. One cup shy of the Ten of Cups. Were you, had you built a life together for some of you, maybe a family, which is gonna be different for everybody. Were you building a life together? Was it on the table? It's back on the table, whatever that's going to mean for you. And of course, it's connecting with the Jupiter energy of the Wheel of Fortune. So this turning point is bringing in some wish fulfillment. Wish is coming true energy. Looks like the wait has been a while. They could get up at any moment, <laughs> take all the cups with them. Have you done that? That was just wanting to slide off the Ten of Pentacles. Wish fulfillment, Ten of Pentacles. Long-term commitment, Mercury and Virgo energy. It's definitely on, I feel like, everybody's mind. And it's on the mind of this Knight of Wands. This new day coming here, this new cycle, the Sun energy, really looking for a happy outcome. Very hopeful. Writing in on that Six of Wands as well. 
having a lot to say to you, I feel. Had you built, were you in a long-term commitment with this person, with your person? Were you working on it? You know, were you together? Is it complicated? I kind of feel like it is somehow. Or was it on the table? It's definitely back on the table. What is this truth around? Well, I'll tell you. Partnership placement, temperance, Archangel Michael, the angel for protection and strength, divine justice, healer, wanting to get everybody on the path to the truth. Virgo, where is the path to the truth? Look, it's the sun. It's the sun energy, which we see the end of that ten of swords, the sun in Gemini, the end of no contact, no communication, the new cycle, the sun coming up. And with that sun, and here's the path. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, really fast energy, wanting to work things out, restore some balance here and some harmony between you. Literally like a middle ground. Getting everybody, lighting the way to the truth and getting everybody on the path to where, where they belong. The highest good of you, the highest good of your person, the highest good of everyone involved. The Three of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune is back. An energy of loss in that Five of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups is here. So here is that Tenth Cup. The Ten of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, One Cup Shy. Here it is. The Prince, Princess, Prince, Charming, Energy. Coming in here with some kind of romantic proposal. What could that be? It's Scorpio and Pluto energy. You know, look at all the emotional energy. Are they hesitating? Have they been hesitating? What's in that cup? Is it full? They're a little bit like, you know, I don't know, a little bit of pensive energy, like maybe a little bit afraid of how they feel, but definitely the truth of how they feel and getting you on yeah, the path to the truth here, coming with temperance. Wish fulfillment is connected here again to this Knight of Cups. That's putting us right into the Ten of Cups. Three of Wands. Sun and Aries energy. More sun energy. It's a coming together energy. It's around timing here. Expansive. And for some of you, again, it's really strong energy that... There might be some travel that's involved here. Around some timing though, quite a fast energy, holding on to this energy of love, trying to work something out. Where are they going? How, how are you possibly coming together? Could this be traveling into the Four of Wands? That's what I'm hearing for some of you. Could it be that you are able to see your person in person? For some of you, yeah. Maybe even at an event. Nonetheless, you can see the sailboats in here, and this is not an air energy again. This is the sun energy, more of that sun energy. Look as it's coming up. Is this three of wands jumping on that knight of wands? I think so. And despite, of course, not being air energy, that comes in here with the sailboats, which are powered by the air. That Gemini Libra Aquarius energy in there. Clarity. In relationships, communication, movement. You can see it. I mean, it's clear. <laughs> Pun intended. The magician. Caddy corner. Here. With the Wheel of Fortune. The High Priestess. The Ace of Swords. There's the Four of Wands. What do you know? right here connected to the Three of Wands. It's one of these readings today. And this is where your person's energy is the strongest Virgo and the Wheel of Fortune is back here. It's the Jupiter energy. It's the planet of expansion. Again, prosperity. Literal for some of you travel, but things moving forward again. Had they stopped, what happened in this connection? Because this is most definitely coming together. They're bringing here an offer. 
They're missing you. There is a strong energy of loss. It's a five of pentacles. Mercury and Taurus energy, you're on their mind. This is also the separation. You can see the movement even away from that. The snow, it's been really quiet. Was there some ghosting that went on? There's hurt here. You see somebody on crutches. Could be quite literal, of course, but that's also, that's of course the hurt energy. And this Wheel of Fortune is right on the opposite end of the Magician, the Renewal. Gemini in Virgo, you're here in this energy, Mercury. Turning visions into reality, getting really focused and going forward, getting what you want energy. Manifesting soulmate energy. Turning these visions into reality and taking the, the inspired action, which is incredibly clear with the Three of Wands. And again, for some of you, as I'm saying clear, my hands are <laughs> being directed over to the Ace of Swords. Yeah, they have some clarity here. And they're getting some ideas. This victory wreath look coming out of nowhere. They're coming in here. Pun intended when I say it's clear. But the travel, again, for some of you, the Three of Wands, again, going into this Four of Wands energy. So here's the thing. For some of you, this might be in person. You know, this is a homecoming celebratory energy, and it can be around friends or family at events, maybe even a wedding. It can be considered a marriage card, but it is incoming soulmate energy. But it can also be just coming together to talk, and this is the wish fulfillment. It's real clear. But that energy, for those of you that maybe already know you're going to see your person or you potentially could, that is here. The renewal, the balance. The magician has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire, and can alchemize everything that's happened. You know, that what's been going on, what's going on currently, and setting things up for the future in that world card, which we also saw lots of reunion energy. Coming here and alchemizing everything that's happened, here with this intuitive energy of the High Priestess, this decision, the clarity, making the decision. And we see that here also with Archangel Michael. Intuitive energy, but also trusting yourself, your person and you. Trusting your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels. So you're being led together, back together. What does this mean? Again, there's a whole lot of Reconciliation for me here, definitely resolution. And wish fulfillment, wish is coming true. Divine feminine energy, cancer energy. A lot of things being revealed here. A renewed spark coming through. Making this decision just again being guided by it. It could be that they show up somewhere for some of you. But it's also like kind of like this. <laughs> As I'm snapping my fingers, interesting. Is somebody a snapper? I never snap my fingers. And this is yours and this is yours. We're going to look at them in just a moment. But just kind of like this nocturnal energy of just getting this idea. You know, wait a minute. I could do this. I could meet them there or I could send this message. Because the energy is just really strong of hearing from them. So whether that's in person or via message... It really is going to be different for everyone. But that's the balance and that's the renewal, of course. That's an eight. And that's connecting us to Saturn, which we are very clear of overcoming those obstacles in Saturn. Karma. We saw that in the world card as well. That's also infinity. Balance and renewal. Manifesting abundance. It's a whole lot, is what it is. Page of Cups. Ace of Cups. Knight of Swords. Sticking out here. The Ten of Swords is back and it's in reverse. So there's for sure an apology here. I mean, look, it's connected right to the Five of Pentacles. You know, again, Mercury and Taurus energy coming out of that. They're, it's like they're, <laughs> yeah, like following you or something. 
There's a lot they want to say here. This Knight of Swords, look at that. It's kind of freaked out, <laughs> the horse. Libra and Mercury energy. You know, again, I just feel like they're jumping on a horse. You know, I don't mean a literal horse. I mean, it could be, <laughs> but like just... I've got to go tell this to Virgo. I, I have to say this. So I don't know if there's something that you've moved on or you've posted or you've said something or what the heck's going on. But look, the horse is like, hello, slow down. No, they're coming in here. They have a lot to say and it's going to change everything. Everything, this conversation, I feel. It's connected right here to temperance. So this guidance, it's sort of, yeah, I mean, it's really this intuitive energy of just... This is what I want to do. This is what I need to do if I want to save this, reach them, not lose you. What is that? It's strong. Yeah, look, the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles are both in reverse, as is the Three of Pentacles, the Emperor. The Ace of Cups, by the way, Ace of Swords. And the Emperor, Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. There's another, there's that 10th cup again. Knight of Cups, proposal energy is here. Could this be marriage for some of you? Yes. Maybe working on a marriage for some of you. A remarriage or working toward it or just obviously it doesn't mean that it's marriage. It can be. Proposal energy is a new beginning and that's Let's talk. Let's see each other. Let's this. Let's that. Let's meet up. What is it? This emperor here in this magician energy, divine masculine energy. Look at the balance in their energies. Not the counterpart, nonetheless. Divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Holding on to this onk. Life, balance, a loving energy, sacred, authoritative, yin yin energy, twin flame energy coming here and, and just, you know, going for and getting what they want. A very assertive <laughs> energy likes their way. Aries and Mars energy. Mars, of course, is the planet of action and passion and drive. Completion. Energy here. So I don't know if it's just something that happened in the connection. Lack of communication for some of you. Harsh communication. Total separation. But coming back together and like finishing what you started or just even talking and putting a pin in it, putting it back on the table, whatever that is. So this past energy is incredibly strong, but also some current energy. The Queen of Cups here in reverse. The, heal, the hurt, I want to say the lack of healing. This was the hurt, the hurtful energy. So also the lack of emotional availability, hiding their feelings, which I see here the Emperor has been doing, not being vulnerable perhaps, some type of what is the dishonesty around? Is it just their feelings? Is it something else? Because it was really hurtful. It also put the nine of pentacles in reverse, which are setbacks. It could be that there's some jealousy here. Maybe that's why they're rushing in. Past energy or current energy. It's real strong for some of you that this is current energy. But this nine of pentacles is like the separation, I want to say. And it can't even be for some of you that you are dealing with an older, older man. It doesn't mean everybody is, but the energy is here. Or somebody that was just putting more time into work. Because there's a, an element of a contract or something that was getting more time. So is it family members, work, money, ego? Lots of ego here in the emperor energy. Whatever the case, things were not developing and moving. That nine of pentacles is in reverse here. Who has that tenth pentacle? The magician has that tenth pentacle. All the elements. And there's the ten of pentacles in the upright, connecting with the page of cups, who's coming in here also with that tenth cup, trying to figure out how to come in here. So how to fix this, how to talk, how to approach you, how to approach this, how to rekindle Work it out, not lose you. What is this? Because it is in separation. The setbacks are real clear. And here with the Three of Pentacles. So it is around something I feel like, not blaming one person. <laughs> in fact, I never would. But 
it's coming in with their energy and it's Mars and Capricorn energy, you know? And none of this is about gender, by the way. We all have divine feminine, divine masculine energy. But that Mars energy, you know, the, the planet of action and passion and completion and drive, it's like they weren't, it's hurtful. They were holding something back. Is it the commitment? Just the, is it just commitment issues? Afraid to go further or scared of how far you were? Are there other things involved? Money, work, other people? Whatever that is, they're coming in here manifesting this, getting really, I feel like, going for and getting what they want. And look where it is going here, this energy, this past energy. It's connecting here also with the Apology, which will put the Queen of Cups right here. Cancer energy, Neptune. A very healing energy, of course. Emotionally available and open. Supportive. Nurturing. Listening. And that's connected here with the Apology. Connected here coming in with this new cycle, the Ten of Pentacles. Of course, yeah, I mean the Nine of Pentacles connecting with that loss. The lack of communication, the lack of coming together, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. That's a teamwork energy. It's collaboration. It's like coming together and working things out, working on things. Logistics, is that what this is? Future possibilities, other people, other contracts. They just weren't doing it. Ego, other reasons. I don't know, but I'll tell you. <laughs> Look at this emperor with that clarity. Of course, there's a little bit of, of, well, there's some armor here, some conflicting energy, but look at those feelings down there. You can't hide those, Emperor. <laughs> Interesting, too, that it's wanting to be right here with the High Priestess energy, two really intense, strong energies. Getting what you want, listening and following your gut instincts, trusting yourself. Angel guidance here, your intuition, making it happen, manifesting here in the Magician energy. Page of Swords, the bottom of the deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're watching. For some of you, it could just be around the corner or even in another room, but for a lot of you, it's farther away. Talking to other people, for those of you connected with friends and family, is definitely going on. And even for those of you not talking about you, I want to say, <laughs> is going on. And it could be with people you don't know. In any case, it's here. And it could even just be like popping in and looking at social media or some kind of Googling, if that's the case. But holding on to that sword and getting ready to act here. This is, feels like a pretty big deal, Virgo. I want to bring in some Oracle today. And then we're going to bring in some... Channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. We're shuffled, but I want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck. Look at strength. More Leo energy source. There's the sun. Getting the strength to communicate, working, <laughs> getting to the renewal. There is a music, piece of music paper back here. That's generally for me when that's coming in and making peace energy, harmony. It's temperance energy coming in there too. Restoring harmony, just working this out. Getting to the place where you're both needing to go in this, like finally is what I'm hearing, finally, finally. So what is that? All of this is going on and then somebody's walking away. I mean, maybe that's not really what I'm feeling, but of course it could be. The chemistry is really high between you. So similar, yet very different. In fact, those energies, again, it's not about gender, but the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy here today. So a really strong, yeah, a really strong chemistry. What can I say? That sometimes feels quite overwhelming. But also manifesting kind of like this, this to, to be something maybe even that it wasn't, a dream relationship. There's five here, change, communication. There's a 29, that's an 11, a master number, new beginnings. 
But then it comes here after 48, 12, it's a 3, it's divine timing. So around some timing, again, what is that? Location, who's here, who's ready, who's not, other things. And the last look, 74. Another 11, new beginnings. That's definitely yours. And this is just coming off right in the middle. <laughs> Those are all coming. I think there's one underneath there too. Oh my gosh, this is so incredibly clear. So I'm not reading Oracle in reverse, but I got to tell you, <laughs> this was like immediately, whoa, like four of swords and reverse energy, just getting really anxious, getting ready to act and you're ready for it too. But it's that energy of rejuvenation, you know, recovering. It's the separation. It's the time that you've had apart. And look what came down here. The, the magic card, magician, and manifestation. This, and this is sliding off. Gratitude. And this is sliding off too. Community. So magic manifestation is really clearly the magician here. I mean... You're both here looking the transformative energy with the butterflies. There's an earth in here as well, bringing back in that world card energy, the completion, the goal for some travel energy, obstacles out of the way. Yeah, the future. Setting things up. Manifestation here in the magician. Magic. Manifestation, the magician. This is, this is like the magician coming down a couple more times. Yeah. Again, alchemizing everything and putting us here on your journey. Look, divine timing. My gosh, and a gift. Is the timing a gift? Is there something around that? Why it didn't work? Why you came together? How? Again, I mean, divine timing is here and it's connected to journey. So again, it could be literal travel. There's a lot of writing. There's post stamps. So for some of you, messages of course, long distance energy. And you can't miss that journey. I mean, that's like, this is like chariot energy, cancer energy, moon energy, things changing and another, a new beginning and somebody moving toward you in your journey that you're on and the timing that's around it. And look, gift has also come down. Coming out of the divine, there's like writing on the wrist. Three butterflies, timing, transformational energy from the dark to the light, holding a box. What is it? Is it a proposal of marriage? Is it a proposal to talk, to come together? Because there is proposal energy here. It's really strong. It's wish fulfillment energy. So what is in that a gift? Is it an actual gift that they're bringing? I feel like it's more about the wish fulfillment of communication and where things are heading here. Gratitude. Community. Interesting. So both an appreciation for you. And this is also an energy of like coming together, the two of you, community, like almost like lover's energy in some ways, but look what they're in front of. It's a tree stump with many, many like representing the, the years. Coming together here really to talk about this long-term connection, whether you were in it, building it, or you were heading for it. I mean, your earth energy, Virgo. Lots of details, I'm sure, to be worked out here. Also, perhaps a gratitude around particular people for those of you that are connected through friends and family, but it could also be somebody that's kind of behind the scenes. But this is really about coming together, too. Could it be something that's going to be, I want to say, said here, because it's coming here with the gift? You're a gift to me. Also, thank you. Looking right at the gift, actual physical gift, maybe, or just the communication, but you're a gift to me. Gratitude. Because there, there's this energy, it's strong, of just really not wanting this to, wanting to, wanting to come back together big time. Whatever that's going to mean for you. The divine timing isn't surprising at all. I, I don't feel like I need to say any more about that. I mean, it speaks for itself. Actually, I want to put that between the emperor and the high priestess. All of this could really go anywhere. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Things start to get covered, you know. 
bottom of the deck is the Empress. Look at that. So we do have the Emperor and the Empress here looking right at the Emperor. Life, death, rebirth. Look. Beginning, middle, end. Divine feminine energy. Bringing them in emotionally open and honest. Really wanting to re- Start this long-term connection or where you were heading. They, they're missing you. There's a friendship here too. For some of you, you might have a family already or you were heading there, something about it, or heading there still. Access to all the elements, lots of resources, water, air, earth, and fire can create and grow anything, abundance, fertility, new beginnings. And again, for some of you, there could be especially here with the Ace of Cups, some type of children and pregnancies involved somehow. I don't generally talk about that in my readings. It might resonate for someone, it might not. I don't always bring it through, so it's coming through for a reason. But that fertility energy around that, and maybe you're even parents together, or that's something that's somehow in connection to this, your connection, I should say. The Empress, of course, divine feminine energy, divine timing, communication, lots of growth, abundance. Taurus energy, Venus energy, also bringing in Libra. Channeled love messages, messages from your higher self. Virgo, this has been something else today. I'm going to bring in some more, too. We're almost at Valentine's Day, so I want to bring in my, my Valentine's Day love messages for you. Please forgive me. That's the Ten of Swords in reverse. You know, the apology is here. Is that all you've been wishing for? Maybe. It's here. I think it's a lot more, but I will tell you that is here. And they've, I think they've known it for a long time that they've needed to... But something's triggering them to make it happen now. I miss you too. Somebody's answering somebody here. That's that five of, of pentacles energy. Do you, miss, <laughs> do you miss me too? I miss you too. High Priestess. Emperor, again, it's not about gender, you guys. But the you're both here. Actually, I think it needs to go here. I think of you all the time. Everything reminds me of you. Connected. There's so much left unsaid. Yeah, that Knight of Swords is making sure that it's going to be said. I miss you. Do you miss me too? I miss you too. My gosh. Virgo, your reading is really goosebumpy. I reread our messages. I took you for granted. Queen of Cups in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Connecting here also with, with the magic, the alchemizing, the repairing, the new cycle, the renewal, like moving past it all, you know, not just skipping it. <laughs> That's not going to happen, is it? Too many details involved, I think. We are soulmates. Love me. You're my favorite person. Give me time. Right here with divine timing. You had me at hello. You're my other half. Soulmate energy, lover's energy. For some of you, this could be around your twin flame. Not for everybody, I know. And if you are on a twin flame journey, there's really long readings for you below that will give you a really in-depth, you know, look into what's going on. So 
somebody sending a kiss. We are a faded connection. That's the Wheel of Fortune energy, which we saw twice here, and there it is. Your last channeled love message, Virgo. Message from their higher self, and if you ever feel you're sending it, then you're sending it. Lost without you. It really reminds me of this Five of Pentacles, you know, just kind of like, wait, wait. Lots of realizations here. Judgment energy is quite strong. Archangel Gabriel is here <laughs> very much. Wake up energy. Beautiful Virgo, that is your reading today. It's been my honor to channel for you. It's been really intense and beautiful. My heart's kind of burning, actually. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so much for that. I'm sending you love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you, and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then.